Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop effects series. In this video, I'm going to show you a creative way to turn any image, yes, I said any image, into golden objects inside of Photoshop. Turn any image into gold, your hand, your laptops, I was just joking. If you've not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of these tutorials that will be coming your way. I write and even after you subscribe, make sure to turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of the video I'll be dropping in for now. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on file and click on new. So for this, I'm just going to use um, a, a 9x5, set by 9x5, right? And um, click on create, everything never stays the same, inches please, not pixels. So this is what you have. So I'm just going to go straight right and um, go over to my resource file. And I'm going to bring this basketball, but I'm not going to place it inside here. I'm going to drop it somewhere here so that Photoshop can open this in another document, right? So I need to remove the background and all of that. So, and also fine tune this. So click on remove background. So if you're still using external uh, background removals and you're ignoring your Photoshop, Photoshop can actually remove your backgrounds for you, right? So I'm just going to click on remove background and um, it's just going to do its calculation. I don't know how it do that, right? So it's just going to remove the background like this. All right, so it might be fast uh, for you and it might take some time, but it's just going to remove the background for you. Okay, so there you have it. You can see that the background has been removed. So right click and convert to smart objects. Now, the reason why you're converting to smart object is so that when you're moving from one place to the other, it doesn't lose form. So if you're out there telling me uh, your pictures are losing form, this is what you're not doing. So click on filter and um, you know what we're going to do here. Let's make this pop. So um, add some texture, add some clarity. Um, the whole essence of doing all of this is just to make sure that this image has high amount of contrast because you need contrast for this effect. In fact, this, in, this effect drives using contrast. So I'm just going to, and of course highlights also. So I'm just going to make sure while I'm setting towards achieving contrast i'm also adding highlight to it so we can copy my settings for this you can see i have highlights and i have contrasts so you can see the before and you can see the after this step is very important to make sure you don't miss it so i can then right click and um, convert to smart objects and i can move this to where i intend to use it which is here you can see that is the first stage so now let's move over to the second stage. So click on this layer here and bring in any background. It could be just black. So I'm just choosing to use this. So you can use just black. Use your adjustment layer and select black. But I'm just choosing to use this. All right. So I'm having this here. Now let me focus on um, this image here. So let's continue um with the image selected okay so click on adjustment layer and click on levels like this and what you should do here is make sure you make it into a clipping mask clip it on the the basketball and what you should do is tilt towards the left hand side like this make sure where you have those white region make sure your slider doesn't exceed that point right so i'm just going to put this in the middle to have a balanced tone like this make sure it's not outside so having done this next thing i'm going to do is go to adjustment layer and select solid color right and i'm going to select white f f f f f that's white click ok and uh no i'm not converting this my object ctrl z i'm clipping it quick clipping mass out of this then i'm going to change the blend mode to color you can see I'm having a black and white image that has contrast and all of these things going on inside. So this is exactly what I want to achieve. So I'm going to select all of this. I'm going to group them and um, I'm going to name this gold ball. Adjustment layer and um, go over and select curves. Now this point you don't want to miss. So clip this also to the grouped layers and um, add points 
I'm just going to add several points by clicking on the line. And I'm going to start with this up. So it's going to be an up and down movement. So I'm just going to bring this down. Right? So up, down movement. So you're basically not doing anything else than moving this up and down. So I'm bringing this down, move this up, bring this down, and uh, take this up, bring this down. So basically this is all I'm going to do here. So bring this up, you can watch the ball or watch whatever you're using to control the contrast. Remember, when you're creating anything golden, you need contrasts, right? So I'm going to take this up and I'm okay with what I have here. So when I'm done with this, the next step that you need to do is go over to adjustment layer and select color look up. You guys hardly touch this part of Photoshop, right? It's not for decoration. So one thing I want to do here is I'm going to over to select this edgy amber 3DL and this creates the perfect golden um, image, but it's not perfect yet. Go to adjustment layer again and this time let's work with hue and saturation because we need to make it golden like so um click on master and click on yellow and increase the saturation of yellow here and um, you can increase the lightness here or reduce but of course i'm going to be increasing here and uh, leave it here go back to master and I'm going to change the hue here also. So um, somewhere around here is good, right? Somewhere around here is good. I'm going to leave this like this. And uh, yeah, there you go. You have your gold ball effects. Now, if you zoom close to this image, there's something actually wrong with it, right? In everything you're doing, make sure you had a bit of excellence in it. Now, if you zoom close to this image, you see that there is something wrong with it. So let me zoom close so that you can see this. Um, so let me zoom close. You can see that you have these white patches along this line. So open up the golden ball, click on this. Hold down control, select, make a marquee selection and click on the mask immediately. Now you have this, click on the mask, go over to filter like this and go to order and go to minimum and um, increase the radius to four. You can see that that has vanished. So click OK and now you have the perfect image, right? So you can use this for your composition. You can use this for your flyers. It works with any image in as much as you follow the process. So I'm going to reduce the intensity of my background. And guys, if you've learned something new from this video, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.